Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is David Kim and I'm bringing you first look tutorials on Code Wars. First look means I haven't seen this problem before and I don't I haven't already solved it and I'm solving it with you on the spot so that you can see me struggle through it and see how see most most clearly what my thought process is. And so today we are looking at descending order, that's a problem, and it says, so let's just get to it. Your task is to make a function that takes any non-negative integer as an argument and return it with its digits in descending order. Essentially, rearrange the digits to create the highest possible number. Ooh, highest possible number, damn. I, I was solving something similar to this in a different, um, different website made for algorithms, and uh, it was definitely hard. Um, I'm not sure if it's a level seven one, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see if they are as uh, as strict about their cases. Um, and to give you an idea of how much I struggled with it before, um, and I don't, I don't remember any of the solutions, but I didn't get to the solution. Uh, I didn't cover all the cases, I guess. Uh, but anyways, let's do it. We have an input of 21445, and we get that. Ah, okay, so it is different. Last time I had an array of just random numbers, and this time I have uh, an input of numbers, which is pretty much going through and uh, sucking out all the biggest numbers. And so that definitely does make it a lot easier. Um, N is, a, is that a number or a string? So I'm guessing it's a number. Um, that can take a non-negative integer. Okay, cool. So it's an integer that comes in. What we're gonna do is we are going to turn that into a string. And so what we will do, um, yeah. Let's see, let str num equals n for string of n. So that makes it into a string. And what I'm kind of thinking of right now is I will split that um, and I will just sort it. And I think that will work. Uh, let me let me do something like one or just some number mash dot sort. And definitely, okay, that was not a good idea. What if I had these in an array? Um, that dot split on the no space, okay. And let's sort that. Okay, um, so that works. We sorted that. Um, how about sorting it with some parameters in there? Um, A minus B. And uh, no, uh, that's weird. Never mind. We are just going to sort it and reverse it. Um, I think that's the easiest. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we could just go ahead and do the split on this guy. And so that will be string number array. Let's uh, give it a good name. And we are going to, oh my gosh, uh, this is bad, but I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna code golf the heck out of this. We're gonna split it. We are going to dot sort it. And code golf means you're trying to use a, the, the least amount of lines possible. Um, And uh, yeah, as long as you know what you're doing uh, and you're confident, well, I guess the defense is if you know what you're doing and if no one else is going to read your code, then go ahead and do code golf. Um, if not, don't do it. So uh, I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna pass the, pass the attempt. And once it does, I will, um, I'll go ahead and do the long way because definitely this is not just for me, it's for people who are viewing it on YouTube. Let's see, A minus B, that was the sort, and dot reverse, verse, dot join. We are joining that on the null space. Do that, join, make sure that happens, yep. So we reversed it, we joined it, and we are going to parse int this guy. And so in the end, we're just going to return that. Okay, so what happened here? Wow. 
a string and so we turn it into a string we split it and and how about we do it over here let's have this input as num num equal this guy so num is that type of we can see that num is a number all right so num what we pretty much did was we took string of num that's the first step we did right over here that's the first function that runs you know because string and parentheses boom that turned into a string then we go ahead and slapped on split on the null string which is going to split all the numbers there we go and after that we sorted it dot sort and we use some ES6 uh, once I go over this again uh, the long way getting rid of all the code golf I will do it um, with the function in case that's what you're familiar with um, a minus B boom that sorted it correctly and uh, we reversed it reverse and that is touching all the way over there the last thing we did was join let's make sure the reverse works and we dot uh, we dot joined it on the null string again cool and all of that we parsed into it let's see parse int Ooh, I did something wrong parse int not defined I probably spelled it wrong uh, I guess int should be capitalized there we go okay so int should be capitalized testing it in node save me an error here so let's go ahead and attempt it and see if we do get it cool we do get it um, so that is the code golf solution pretty much if we were to not do code golf and uh, um, break it down this is what it's going to be and of course I'm pretty confident that this passes the, the attempt and so if you want to end the video here that's great uh, if you understood everything that happened in Node, awesome here's me breaking it down for you we take n and we are going to we first create it into a string so let uh, str num equals string of n and so and then what's the next step we did we I guess uh, the easiest is just uh, doing these um, we'll use a comma there uh, str num array equals str num dot split on that the next thing we did was we sorted it um, hmm I'm thinking, okay, is making these variables the, really the best way to explain it? Num sort, and uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Equals str num r, or actually, well, yeah, num r dot sort, and we're going to stick in a function here because, and the reason why we stick in a function there is because. Um, if you sort it, if you sort a group of numbers like this, and uh, if you run that, you would think one five twelve, but you get one twelve five. And so the reason why you do the whole a comma b, um, fat arrowing it to a minus b, is so that you can get it in the right order. And pretty much the fat arrow is just the a new way to write this. This is probably what you are familiar with. If you are not familiar with ES6 and you're just returning A minus B. Very similar. Um, it pretty much with the arrow that you could recognize it as that portion right there. Get rid of the function. Oh no, what am I? Oh yeah, get rid of the function. The arrow means like you you have something. Curly braces, consider it the curly braces. Even in this, you could put in curly braces, or you have to if it's multiple lines, but it's a, it's like a very short one, so, uh, and you could even do return, but there's only one thing going on in here, so we don't even put in return. Um, we just do fat arrow to A minus B. And so that's that right there. Uh, string number array sort, let's just call it sorted. Uh, Alright, what happens after that? We reversed it. And uh, 
So let's just do, let's end that there. str num r sorted equals, or I wonder if that reversed the states. str num r sorted dot reverse. And after that, we joined it. Okay. Um, Mm, str num. I think at this point we can call it str num again. We take that dot join on that, and uh, and then return the parse int version of str num. There you go. And so that should be the exact same thing as up here. Um, let's run the sample test again. Oh wait, what happened? strnum r none r where is that num there we go and there we cool um yeah it didn't have it didn't run six tests but hey this is pretty good indication that it does work and um let me yeah we'll just send it in with this guy Tempt. cool we passed it oh wait Oh, okay, we attempted that. Submit final. It should pass. That was the sending order. Cool, all right, that passed. Um, that was level seven descending order.